a little sticky. I hope the engine's not locked. <laughs> How many? 18 years ago? Well, it's been a while. Everyone always wants a story. So the story with this one was, what? My grandpa bought it. Probably in the 60s. Late 50s, maybe? Probably 50s. He had a trenching business. This was the first dozer he bought. The last time we used it was when we built my parents' house, the house you know I grew up in. Because we moved in about 2002. Five, six acres of woods. It's fully wooded. We bought it and we cleared it out. I was in the second grade at the time. I don't know why. You know, we had the TDA, we had a 350 John Deere. But I think I always thought this was the coolest thing when I was little. It was just sitting in the woods like it was now. I wanted to get out and get it running, so we got it running, brought it, and we would just skid logs with it, maybe pop a couple stumps, I don't know. So I think, we can't remember, but we think I parked it here probably 18 years ago or something, so I'm 29. So I was 11, parked it here. It is not ran since. No, we no. parked it here after we used it to quit our property and this is where it sits. Uh, but in the spirit of coming back to projects and getting around to them, we figure it's probably time to fire it up and see uh, see if it's still got anything in it. Do you think we knew back then you'd have a YouTube channel? No. But I knew I would have time in the future. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Doesn't burn a drop. It doesn't look over full either. See the gas. Well, we know there's... No, there's still gas in No there. way. Um, but let's see what the water looks like. No, nope. antifreeze looks good. No way, it's still in there? Full antifreeze, yeah. No. Wow, this is, yeah, that's full. Wow. Starting off better than the Wabco did. Forty C. Yeah. It's actually not that bad and it still smells like gas. And there's still gas in it amazingly. Ah. Probably shouldn't have taken that off. I used to be able to do this by hand. Oh, uh oh. Oh, no, uh -oh. it's made it could be locked up too. Uh oh. Take both the spark plugs out. They look all right. Let's check and see. I mean, I think if we had water, I think it'd be coming out at this point, and we probably would have seen some of the oil, right? Yeah, we might. We might have to check the drain plug just for the hell of it, even though I think it's good. Yeah, that looks dry. There's yeah, nothing sorry. there. My stick's weeping. Yeah. That one's up high, huh? Yeah. Hmm. That one looks fine. I don't think there's any water in there. No? Maybe it's just that alternator seized up. Yeah. Might be able to get a box end wrench on that. On the pulley? Yeah, I'm just trying to go up with it. Yeah, we'll bring some, it feels like about a 15 16 or so. We could try it together. Well, yeah, if we... Which way are you going that way? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh no. Let's go the other way. Okay. Oh, no way. <laughs> All right. That's a bummer. I think I got just a bigger O-ring. It's probably the exact one that we put in there a while ago. Worst case scenario, I have more O-rings and some gasket maker. This one's gotta work. No, it's worse. 
there's no water and I shouldn't have taken the damn thing off. I should have just left it, it was sealed. <laughs> So it it wouldn't drain because there was mm, everything yeah. went a lot. It filled up there. Oh, that's because it was a big leak. What size was that? was that one right there. Wow, 1560. I think that fit on it. Did it? Oh, <laughs> what's turning? Oh, is the motor turning? Yeah, it has to be. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta look see if that. Yeah, the motor's turning though. Yeah. Alternator was locked up. Huh? Alternator was locked up. Oh my. Ooh. What, 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 what's that? I think the compression. Shoot, maybe we should have left the plugs out and put some oil down there and rolled it over. You know what? I mean, it's moving the engine over. Uh -huh. It's moving the engine over. Yeah, let me take those plugs out too. Yeah. Roll it over by hand a few times. Otherwise, we'll hear about it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, hear, we'll hear about it anyway. That's a little oil NWD mixed. Either one. Seems like it's rolling over pretty freely. Mm -hmm. Positive ground? Uh, see how that fits on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks loose. Come on, try that. Yeah, yeah, it's positive ground. Flip it around. Huh. I didn't see that one coming. Isn't that the way you tell? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that fits better. You gotta hit it hard. Hmm. Let me give it some WD-40. Um... Safety switch on this? No. It's not Isn't it kind of? It what? Didn't it make a noise? Uh, I don't know. Hear that? That first one? You get a little bit of a. Hold on. No, I don't hear anything. Whoa! <laughs> Hmm. We need 
try and start it. Yeah. You want to just put the spark plugs in? Yeah. See? I don't know if it's got spark though. Are we going to check the points? Uh, you want to just try and check the spark? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see that. What are you afraid of? 80,000 volts. Here, I'll hit the starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Here, I'll hold. Can you hold that? No, I got it. Go ahead. No, let's pop, let's pop that, uh, pop the distributor, and I'll snap the points with the screwdriver. I'm just going to bypass the point, so I don't need anything. Let it snap to there. No. Sure, why not? Where's some, that's ground, isn't it? Huh? Why not? Oh, look at that. Okay. Just the points are dirty. Look at that spark. Oh, it's not quarter inch. Uh, let's bring it in quarter inch. Three eighths. Wow. What? Yeah, look at that. Wow. These are called points. In the old days, we'd just file them. We wouldn't bother with new ones. In the new days, we just fuel injection or something. Now, in the old days on the farm, <laughs> Grandpa had a tractor. I'm sure a lot of people could tell you about this. Started up on gasoline, and then the uh, diesel was just cheap fuel or something. They switched it over to diesel when it got hot. I guess it actually ran. I don't know if it was a mixture or what it was. I'm yeah. sure we'll get some comments on it. I'll bet, I'll bet you this thing went damn near on a diesel. That was, I think, in the... It had to be in the 30s. Now they're trying to charge us $5.50 a gallon for that waste. You splurging with those new plugs or no? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. The other ones were the original plugs. What are you doing? Seeing if it's got spark? Are you, are you, yeah, let's just start up. Yeah, let's just start it. Put the plugs in it. Boy, I mean, usually you had to feather that yeah, I know. That starter to get it to catch. No, I want to use this. I think they're closed. They're closed right now. Yeah. I'm going to use this to open and close them. Can you see that? Yeah. Your points aren't. Your points are dirty or something. There's a film on them. What's going on? They're shut. Let me put the, let me the sandpaper. No, wait, wait, wait. You sure? What the? Where's that screwdriver? All right, now you bypass those points with that screwdriver. Open and close it. Oh, see, it's got... So your points, what's going on with your points? Did you... That's working now. That is, your points are working now. Why weren't they working before? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's, uh... Man, we should double check your uh, gap. Oh, I got this off now. 
All right, go ahead. Yeah, that engine runs great. <laughs> it went about uh, what, 20 times better than I thought it would. 
There's not much left. No. Tony's trenching. Hmm. That's all it said, right? Service. Next time we're going to put it on a trailer and probably take it to our house for some service. Uh, so if you want to see future Model 40 stuff or the Wobcos up there over yonder, um, all kinds of stuff, make sure you subscribe. If you guys want to see anything special about the Model 40, uh, let us know. But like I said, I think we would like to get it, you know, a little bit operational. I mean, it's light. It's like 6,000, 7,000 pounds, so it's really nice. You can trailer it pretty easy. Super good for skin logs and just, you know, tighten up brush piles, stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of cool to have and put around. I mean, you can see you can leave it sitting for 20 years, and it took us two hours to get the thing running. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The engine runs amazing. It just doesn't steer. So... Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys next time.